Hey guys, Star Tower Brian Backup Count here. Today, I'm going to be doing my Goodwill slash record store haul. So, yeah. I'm in the Fairfield Inn. So, yeah. And I am back. And if you're wondering what, why do I sound weird, I'm actually sick from, you know, back to school germs and whatnot. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get started. First up we have, I'll start with the vinyl records. And I have some a 45, some uh, albums, and some CDs, some DVDs, and some VHS tapes. So, so the first one we have is the Beatles yesterday in a picture sleeve. So, yeah, with the B-side back naturally. Courses on Capitol Records. Yeah, yesterday's a great song. Movie, yeah, it's okay. But I did see it at Peter's. Uh, sorry. Hold on. All right, so got it back in. Now we'll move on to the albums. I think we got three of them. First up, we have is Queen One. And this is a reissue. Uh, some good songs on here like Keep Stuff Alive, Doing Alright, Liar, Modern Times, Rock and Roll. And. Let's see if I can find it. If you look closely right here, there's. See, you know that penguin costume from. Oh, it's like me, man. That was actually used in this cover. And this is on EMI version. Oh, uh, yeah. So this is now officially the oldest Queen album my own. Even though this is not an original. Then this is also a reissue. Bon Jovi, New Jersey. This is actually my first Bon Jovi album. I am a fan of Bon Jovi. Lay Your Hands on Me, Bad Medicine is my favorite. Born to Be My Baby. I'll be there for you. Yeah, there's the back. In case I didn't show you. Here's the gatefold. I'll show you one of the records. Here it is. Bon Jovi, New Jersey. Still need to get Slippery Web Wet, which is my favorite Bon Jovi album. Now this is an original. This is, what's this? Journey Infinity. Wheel in the Sky. Lights. So yeah, it's a good album. There is the inner sleeve. This is on Columbia. So yeah, Journey's Affinity. Then my some CDs. Some CDs. First up we have U2 Octon Baby. The Zoo Station. Even better than the real fade. One. Mysterious Ways. Yeah, it's a great album from you two. Gods of Roses, Appetite for Destruction. Another classic album, Welcome to the Jungle, It's So Easy, Day Trade, Mr. Brownstone, Paradise City, Lay Michelle, and Sweet Child of Mine. This is the original from Age 7. And this is a very good one. This is Paul McCartney, Good Evening in New York City. And opens up like that. Yeah, you can tell I'm sick. Comes with two CDs. 
Here's disc one. Here's this two. It also comes with the DVD. And here's the DVD. So yeah, I'm sure it's gonna be good. Then we have my my stuff I got from Goodwill. All the stuff I got in the record store, the rest is stuff from Goodwill. So start with this I, is Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius. Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius is clever and funny. Says Patrick S. McGavin, Chicago Tribute. <sighs> Sorry about that. Used to have this tape, but I accidentally got donated to Goodwill. So yeah. Special features includes two music videos. Leave it up to me, Eric Hart, and Kids in America by No Secrets. Rated G. And it's 82 minutes. Here's the tape. Stick label. Printed on the 24th week of 2002. Next up, I also used to have this. This is Stuart Little 2. This is a, one of my favorites as a kid. Better and more fun than the first is Joe Siegel, the Moon in America. Two thumbs up since Eva and Roper. Read PG for some rape model language in 78 minutes. Here's the tape. Stick label. It's burned out the 44th week of 2002. Alright, next up, I also used to have this. This is Lilo and Stitch. Funny, sassy, and original says Roger Ebert. Chicago sometimes. As all of us might put it up, you can't help falling in love with Lee Woods. This is Queen of Pooh, USA Today. Read PG for some mild sci fi action. Oh, wait, it says featuring six original Elvis Presley classics. Plus, Mold, we own up performs an all new version of Elvis Smash at Burning Love. Read PG for some mild sci fi action, and it's 85 minutes. Here's the tape with the ink label, blue lid, print date is, so, sorry, because that's, print date is September 25th, 2002. Hold on a second, let me blow my nose. Alright, moving on. Next up we have Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shagged Me, with Mike Myers and Heaven Grandman. This is a funny movie. Blensley Funny says Joe Siegel Good Morning America. Even funnier than the first one says Gene Seven of the Today Show. Big Last says Roger and Ebert Chicago Sometimes. Read PG 13. And it's. I, I can't find the running time. The running time is 95 minutes. It's tape, ink label, print data is. August 25th, 1999. Alright, next up, here's another funny movie. Caddyshack. The Snobs Against the Slobs. Oh. Tee off with a foursome of the screen's funniest clowns. Rated R. It's 98 minutes. Printed on September 20th, 1992, even though this is a 1991 VHS. Alright, next up we have another funny movie. Tommy Boy with Chris Farley, Rest in Peace, and David Spade. If at first you don't succeed, it lowers your standards. Good belly laugh of a movie says Roundy Roundy Reminiscent Sweet Nature says Kevin Thomas Los Angeles Times. Rate a PG and it's 98 minutes. Rate PG 13, it's 98 minutes. See just how sick I am. 
Let's take tape, stick label, a label. Printed on the 38th week of 1995. Yeah, put that one. Then we have, I also used to have this tape, but accidentally got given away the Goodwill, I think. It says, Home Alone. A family comedy without the family. When Kevin's family left for vacation, they forgot one minor detail. Kevin. Rated PG. And it's, what's it? 103 minutes. Tape. Stick label. Oh, man. I think it's printed on the 25th week of 1991. I do have Humble 2 on VHS. Then I have another funny movie. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. This is with Chevy Chase. You'll crack up. I laughed myself silly. Christmas Vacation. Jingle My Bell says PLN Star WNBC TV New York. Read PG 13. It's 97 minutes. Tape, stick label. Print on September 6, 1995. Alright, and then we have a rare tape. We have Annie, that's from 2005. With Albert Finley, Carl Bunwood, Bernard Peters, and Ricky and Tim Curry. Annie's a bit colorful with high spirit performances since Vincent came in the New York Times. Take home America's favorite orphan in the original movie classic. Ready PG, it's 127 minutes. Just the tape. Ink label. Black reels. It's printed on October 21st, 2005. And then we have DVDs. We have the Polar Express full screen edition with Tom Hanks. Amazing, you've never seen anything like it since Joe Single, Good Morning America, and ABC TV. Rated G, it's a hundred, hundred minutes. Here's the disc. Oh, good. And then I have Airplane 2, the sequel. Those features include white screen edition, the heads for 16.9 TVs, dopey digital English mono, French mono, English subtitles, interactive menus, and sweet seed selection. Ray PG, and it's 84 minutes. Here's the disc. And finally, I've been wanting this for a while. This is South Park, the complete second season. I do love South Park. No rated, and it's a hundred and four minutes. One four hundred and four minutes. Here's this one, here's this two, and here's this three. That's it for my haul, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.